welcome back to my channel um so today i'm gonna be doing something um so on my instagram story i had posted a poll asking if people would rather see um the story of finding out like how i found out that i was pregnant or story of my labor and delivery and i for sure thought that um everyone would want to see my labor and delivery instead because I feel like I mean to me that's more interesting I like to watch those a lot so I thought that that's what people would want to watch but um I was wrong and finding out I was pregnant is like it won by like 93% of people wanted to see that and 7% wanted to see my labor and delivery story so I'm gonna tell you about how I got pregnant not about how I got pregnant, obviously, like, I think everybody knows, um, but how I found out that I was pregnant, it's actually kind of, um, it was kind of interesting, um, so let's start back, uh, last June, um, so last June, in the beginning of the month, um, I kind of knew I was pregnant, like, like, I thought I would be pregnant, like, the day that it happened. Because um, I have an app that tells me, um, like, highest risk of getting pregnant. And I think you can go from there. Um, and that day was my highest risk of getting pregnant. I was off of birth control for like a week. Um, and so I had to stop taking birth control because um, I have like a blood clotting mutation and that blood clotting mutation is um, kind of like you have a higher risk of getting a blood clot when you have higher estrogen levels. So basically if you're on birth control or if you are taking estrogen pills or if you're pregnant, um, all your estrogen levels are increased with those three things, or there's probably other things too that can increase it. Um, but, so I was off of it for like a week. I kind of knew like for sure about a week into being pregnant that I was pregnant, which is kind of crazy, but I'm really, really in tune with um, my body. So I just, I had like a feeling I knew because um, basically my first symptoms in that early amount of time were just um, I was having cramps when I wasn't on my period and I wasn't close to my period yet like still three weeks out um, and I never had that before um, I didn't really have anything else besides that but I just had that and especially if I would drink any alcohol like even like the slightest sip of like wine or something um I would get cramps and that was weird because that just never happened to me before um so about a couple weeks after that let's see I'm gonna look up my calendar because I know the dates all right so June of 2018 um let's see so I took a pregnancy test at, um, I'd say around like June 26 or 27th of 2018. And that was probably like about two and a half weeks um, into my pregnancy and I still had not missed my period um so to backtrack I'm getting ahead of myself um since I knew like a week after my week into my pregnancy that I was probably pregnant I didn't know for sure um I was at a dollar store believe it or not um and it was me and my best friend my boyfriend and then my best friend's boyfriend at the time and we were just getting like candy and stuff like that and snacks and um 
I walked by the aisle and I was like, huh, like I should just get a pregnancy test. Like, you know, like I'm sure it'll be negative, but like, why not? And it's from the dollar store and I'm like, I don't really know if it's even going to work. But I have heard that dollar store pregnancy tests do work better than any other kind, um, which I found hard to believe. But it turns out they're right. So um, I bought two of them and I went back to my house and we were all going to have like a fun night together. We were just going to um, like have a few drinks and go swimming and stuff like that because it was summer. And before um, I was going to have a drink, I was like, you know, I should just take these before just to like clear my head and not like have to worry about it. Not have to like worry about drinking and like, you know, everything like that. So I went in the bathroom and these ones are weird. They're like pregnancy test strips. So you had to pee in a cup and then dip the strip in a cup. So um, I did that. And I put it on the floor to like let it, it takes like a couple minutes to get your result on it. And so, um, and this was like, again, only like two and a half weeks being pregnant, not even missing a period yet because I was still a few days away from it. Um, so I did that. It was on the floor and then my friend knocked on the door and she's like, oh, can I come in? And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. And I'm just sitting there and then she like looks at it and she's like, she's like, I'm pretty sure that's two lines. Like, I'm pretty sure that means you're pregnant. And I was like, no, I was like, there's no way. Like, I was like, I mean, that is two lines and they were very clear. It's not like they were like, maybe that's another line. Like it was, it was clear. Um, and it was strong pink lines. And I was like, you know, it's from the dollar store. Let me just do the other one. So I dipped the other one in the pee and then we set it there to wait. And then this one was kind of like weird test. Like it wasn't working. It was like the liquid had gone across the liquid. My pee had like soaked in across, but no lines were showing up. So usually that means it's like a, like a messed up test. Um, so there was just nothing showing on it, not positive, not negative, and sometimes that happens with tests, um, especially from the dollar store. And so I was just like, uh, like we need to go get more tests, like whatever. And then my boyfriend was knocking on the door, trying to come in, and I was like, okay. And then um, he saw it, and he was like, like so you're pregnant? And I was like, well, no, like this other test, like we don't know yet, like, because I'm starting to like freak out a little bit because obviously I was 18, almost 19 in a few months, and like. I mean, me and my boyfriend have been dating for almost five years, but still, it's scary when you're 18, still in college, living at your parents' house, not the most ideal situation. Um, also, let me apologize for my hair in this video. I don't really know what's going on. It just looks really fucking gross. But, um, so then we look over at that test that was being weird, and that one all of a sudden had two strong pink lines, too. Like, it was, like broken and then like five minutes later got the two pink lines as well and I was like like what and so then all of a sudden I just started bawling crying because I'm scared I don't know what to do there's so many like emotions at that point you always like think you're gonna take a pregnancy test and it's gonna be negative at least that happened to me in the past and like you're in the clear but then this was different it was positive two of them were positive and I kind of already knew that I was pregnant I just didn't I was like um trying to I don't know push that feeling away and like I just didn't think that it I mean obviously it's possible I just like didn't think I would be because me and my boyfriend had been dating for almost five years and I never got pregnant so I was like Maybe I just can't get pregnant. Like, okay, like, whatever. I kind of come to terms with that. Like, I had thought that I would never get pregnant. And I was like, okay, like, whatever. That's going to be my life. Like, you know, it is what it is. Um, and probably in the future, I probably would have thought different. But at that age and then, I just, like, didn't care. Because I was like, well, I don't need a baby right now. Like, it doesn't matter if I can't get pregnant or not. Um, so, I was crying. And... My boyfriend's like, it's okay, like we're 
going to do this? And then my friend's like, well, what are you going to do? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I mean, I'd love to say that I didn't think about the A word. I don't even want to say it now because it's something I would never, ever do after being pregnant and after having my baby and seeing her now. And, like, I would never do that. Not in a million years. Like, I don't care if anybody else does it. Like, that's your choice. That's you. But personally, I would never, ever, ever do that. But at the time, I was young, still young, but I'm more knowledgeable now, I guess. Um, and now I know what I didn't know before. Um, but at the time, I was scared. I just found out I was, like, pregnant. Like, what the fuck? And um, I was like, I don't know, like, maybe I do want to do that because I was so early in my pregnancy again like two and a half weeks pregnant I was like maybe like because I can just take that pill and like it'll be over with we don't have to worry about it and my boyfriend was like no like you're not doing that like we're having this baby and I was just like but I don't like what if I don't want to do that I don't know like it's my decision and my friend was like yeah it's like her decision and he was like no like we're having this baby like blah blah, blah. and they kind of got an argument because uh, she was like, this is her decision, this is her life, like, if she doesn't want a baby, she doesn't have to have a baby, and he was like, no, we're having this baby, like, we are gonna have this baby, and I just was, like, crying for, like, hours, because I was like, I don't know what to do, like, you know, it's scary when you're young, um, it's probably scary even when you're older, because everybody's first kid is new, um, a kid is a lot of responsibility it's a lot of money it's a lot of <clears throat> something if you weren't planning for it in your life at that time it's like a big shock so um, I was just really scared and I was like I don't know what to do and he was like okay well we need to like tell our parents and I was like oh no like I'm not telling my parents and one of the main reasons why I even considered the a word was because I didn't want to have to tell my parents I didn't want to sit there and tell them that I was pregnant which now I think back it's so stupid like you know if they were to hate me for it then they could hate me for it but they're not they're my parents obviously um they, they might be disappointed and mad but they weren't let's just say they they weren't I don't know how I really don't really know exactly how they felt because they didn't really say anything that was they kind of were like mainly like this is like your life your decision you know like do what you got to do but I don't want you to make the wrong decision I don't want this decision to hurt you but I don't want meaning like if I were to get the a word they didn't want it to like affect me my whole life which it would I mean for me some people maybe not but for me it would have and I'm glad that I didn't do that obviously no because I have my baby um but so yeah they took it a lot better than I thought they would so I guess fast forward a little bit a few days later was my boyfriend's birthday I need to like backtrack because I got ahead of myself so after that night of me crying and all that um a few days later it was my boyfriend's birthday and he told his mom and at that time we still didn't know what we were gonna do and then a few days later on the 4th of July um, I will have another story time about that day um, in the future maybe if people want to see it and this is like my parents finding out and I don't really want to give away too many details because I'm gonna make another video on it so basically my parents found out on the 4th of July about eight a week later eight days later um so yeah this is how I found out that I was pregnant and um but even though I was so scared and so worried it has definitely turned out for the better and I'm in a much better place in my life than I was at that time I think that God or whoever knew that I needed this in my life um just to like I don't know make my life better I guess um, my life was not bad but like 
this is something I definitely needed. It completely has changed my life and I'm a different person now. Um, and I'm much happier with the person that I am now than the person I was last summer. Um, like I look back at who I was then and I wasn't a bad person, but like I just prefer who I am now and who I became while I was pregnant so much more than the person that I was before. Like I just have a completely different outlook. Um, a completely different, I feel like, personality. Like, I'm always the same person, but I have, like, a different personality, different mindset. And now I'm, like, a lot more motivated to finish school, to give a good life for my daughter. And it's just crazy how just a few months can change everything. And now, in, like, a month, it'll be a year since I found out that I was pregnant. And... It's just crazy everything that's changed since then, but for the better, definitely. And yeah, so if you enjoyed this video and my story and you want to hear more stories, make sure you subscribe and like this video. Um, I think I'm going to do my labor and delivery story next, even though it wasn't as like recommended or not recommended, I guess, but like people didn't want to see it as much, but I feel like this is just what they wanted to see first and labor and delivery to me. I want to talk about it so I can remember because even now, two and a half months later, I don't remember like as in detail as I want to. Like, thank God I have it on video because I was just in so much, you know, I'll just save it for the next video. But next, I'll probably be doing my labor and delivery story. So if you like this video, um, stay tuned for more videos that are similar to this. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.